Hi there Deep Notes and welcome to this tutorial video about the Deep Connect Air and how to get it all set up so that you're online and you can use the DPN. There will be other videos on how to actually tweak the DPN, how to use the geolocator, how to stake for, to mine, how to do NPOW. All of those things are the same across all devices, okay? So this is just about getting it unboxed, getting it ready, getting it all turned on and using it. It's available in multiple lang languages, so um, if you want Spanish and French, go to the channel and you can watch those ones. Now, the way that you power this, there's actually two ways you can run this. The first way is just any USB port. You only need to give it power, okay? So that could be a phone charger. Um, here, I'm plugging it into the validation node. It's got like a Type-C on the front, so I plugged it in that. Works fine. Um, I'm using the Type-A to Type-C adapter here to get power from a power hub thing plug extension thingy and that works fine and then i've got a, a multi usb hub for my computer for my for my mac um and that works fine too so i couldn't find i tried loads of different things i couldn't find a device that would not give enough power for this it ran on everything which is great once you've plugged in your brand new deep connect air just wait for the flashing blue light it'll flash red and then it'll flash blue and then once it flashes blue you're good to go and you can log in now a wi-fi connection will show up and it'll start up with it'll say like deeper wi-fi uh, dash and then there'll be like a number so click on that that is the hotspot which has been created by the deeper connect air and then just go to 34.34.34.34 and log into the dashboard using the credentials admin and admin by the way, the password for the Wi-Fi is I love deeper, lowercase, all one word. Okay, it's on the screen. So we'll just do that. Okay, so now you get into your dashboard. Your dashboard is where the, the magic happens and where the final bit of setup actually happens. Now the tab that you're looking for is the Wi-Fi tab. So if you go to setting and then click on Wi-Fi, you'll be given these two boxes now I've already kind of played around with it here but these two boxes are important so the one on the left is the Wi-Fi network which you're going to connect to so if you go to a Costa Coffee or if you're at home you have to select the Wi-Fi connection that has the internet which you're going to use so you just connect to it put the password in if it's got one for the Wi-Fi if it hasn't it won't ask you for one and then it'll say connection requested and if you give it a minute It'll then connect. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's a bit slow, but it usually does work. Um, if it doesn't for a while, uh, click on a different tab and then go go back, but it's pretty good. Now, once you've connected to your Wi-Fi uh, connection, which you're going to use to browse the internet, you have to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, this hotspot is what you're going to connect to. So if you're on like an iPad and you're sat in... A, co a coffee shop you don't connect to the standard coffee shop why wi wi-fi now you connect to, to your brand new hotspot which is going to be created here so you put the name in you put the password that you want you can make these up it doesn't have to be any sp anything specific and then you also have the option to hide the ssid now be careful if you press that and you save it this brand new ssid Wi-Fi connection will not show up in the list. You'll have to manually add it. And to do that, you need to have the name and the password, and it has to be exact. So don't make a mistake or else it'll say it's failed. Now we'll go to a speed test and you can see there it's working fine. So this is on my home internet connection. Um, that's why I've blurred out the IP address because it's static and it's for the node. So um, yeah works perfectly fine I've got no issues with speed there at all so that is the main way on how to connect to an internet connection especially if you're on the move so if you're in a coffee shop or at a hotel or even at home you know if it works fine so what about if your device that you have doesn't actually have Wi-Fi maybe you have like an older phone well, well all phones have got Wi-Fi what if you've got like a a device that doesn't have Wi-Fi but you want it to have Wi-Fi but you also want it to have the encrypted Wi-Fi well I found this out by accident if you plug the Deep Connect Air into that device 
like I've plugged it into my Mac here, you can see that it's actually come up as an air USB Wi-Fi adapter. I didn't realize, I thought that the Type-C port only did power. It didn't actually transfer anything, but that's not the case. If you plug it into a computer, it gives your, your computer a Wi-Fi adapter. And that means you only have to concern yourself with the first box. Because you're not going to connect to the hotspot, it doesn't matter because the data goes through the Type-C port into your com computer. So you only need to connect to the wireless internet which you're on, which you want to use. Now this is quite a big deal because I didn't realize that the DB Connect Air would be able to do that. And that adds a lot of usability for older computers or computers like towers that haven't got Wi-Fi adapters on their boards. You can just plug that into a USB and you've got a Wi-Fi adapter and it's all kind of isolated with that. Um, and that is it. That is essentially how you get your brand new Deep Connect Air to be connected to, to the to the internet and up and running and working. Now, I'm not going to cover staking yet. Um, I'll do that on the next video. That will be part two. So part B. Um, part A, which is this one, is just setting it up, getting it running so you can browse the internet with your privacy intact. And part B will be the actual setup of the Deep Connect wallet, the staking, the initial stake, and then obviously staking. And then part C will be how to cash out. So how to get that DPR that you've earned and cash it out through an exchange. That's coming. That'll be available in multiple languages as well. I have already done videos on that. Um, they're a bit older, but they're still completely accurate. So feel free to go through the channel and have a look at that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on part B when that comes out. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that. Don't forget if you use the code DeeperNote at checkout at the Deeper Connect site, you can get an extra 5% off. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful for you. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.